Alright guys, how's it going? It's 27th of January, 2020. It's 20 minutes past 11 on a Monday night. I'm talking to a computer screen in an empty room. I feel like an idiot. Let's get straight into the Blender developing meeting notes. <laughs> so not much happening in terms of announcement. There is a free and open source developers meeting and that's European and it's actually happening in Brussels and I believe that's the 1st and 2nd of February. Ton will be there and he'll be doing a Blender talk and he'll also be talking about Blender Projects 2020. Blender 2.82, Beacon 3, Beacon 4 is actually out next week. February the 6th they prepare for the release and they release on February the 13th so keep that in mind. Everyone's doing triage, which basically means they're running about crazy at the moment. And there is still documentation missing for a lot of aspects, uh, Udom being one of them. Now there is a headline here, Tracker Curfew, and this actually caught my attention. Until this number goes down to zero, we can't move to the second stage, where the focus can be actually fixing bugs. And for me, as an end user, that's a good thing. It means, look, let's sort out these bugs before we can actually get some stuff done here. Good stuff here. Changes in new features, this is what everybody likes. Sequencer, add toolbar and adjust last operation panel, looks good. User interfaces changes, graph editor sidebar layout consistent with other editors, nice one. Rename view frame to go to current frame, now that makes a lot of sense, most applications have go to current frame. Rename lock time to other windows to sync visible range. Text editor head layout tweaks, nice one. Info editor theme colours update. They've got a new icon for duplicating a new window. And Sculpting Topology Bus renamed to Slide Relax. 3D Viewport. Support Auto Perspective when snapping in a viewport orbit. Nice one. Improved anti-aliasing of diagonal lines and overlays. That may seem a little trivial, but to me that's actually really good. Libraries on all platforms are now upgraded to match VFX Reference Platform 2020. And that's a quick roundup of your Blender developing meeting notes. Remember all the links in the description down below. So let's check out tutorials. So first up is Blender 2.82 features, the new remeshing tools. Check this one out. I'm always a fan of remeshing tools, especially when you've got voxels. And this one is free Blender manga shader. Uh, Paul just hit 10,000 subscribers. Congratulations mate, that's a feat. And he basically released a manga shader for Eve. So, cheers for the free download. Bonus there. And this one's from Ducky3D. Create a Plexus style animation in Blender Eve. Easy Blender tutorial. Nice one. And, because it's a Monday, Big Blender Projects 2020. You're actually going to see this a lot more these days. Check this video out if you want to stay even more up to date. Next tutorial. Weld modifier on Blender 2.8, hard surface modelling, and this is from Gleb Alexandrov. And, if the Avengers had to assemble, how many people would it be? This is Blender's Nest new video, Artist of the Round Table, and it's basically the top brass having a discussion. Check it out. Next one up is from CG Matter, procedural stained glass fast in Blender tutorial. And this one's from Southern Shorty, Blender Motion Capture Hair Simulation, Loop Tutorial. This seems to be a big trend again, uh, these looping animations, so you're probably actually going to see more of these. And this one is actually from Marcom 3D, How to Rig a Character in Blender 2.8. So if you're into rigging and you would like to learn how to rig a character, this is a good place to start. Calm down Blender, you stud. Quick tutorial, how to make a spider web in Blender 2.81. And this is from Janum, Blender Texture, Paint and Roughness, nice one. And quickly moving on, new startup file for Blender 2.81 and this is from Curtis Holt and I believe there's a free download. So if you're looking for a startup file that's a little bit unique, check it out. And I'm going to move quickly on to add-ons now. And this is a video that actually supports. It's Blender 2.8 Material Library Add-on. Now I'll cover this at some point, but for now, you have this for Debender, <laughs> some of these names are brilliant. And moving on to Key Kit, I actually highlighted this plugin over the weekend. Highly recommend, and the developer just released a new update. Check that one out as well. And this one is really, really good, especially if you're like me, and you deal with a lot of CAD data. Now, when I get CAD data, it generally comes in STP format, iGES, there is a few other formats. And this user here has basically created a step import for Blender. Nice one, mate. Cheers much. 
that actually might save me a couple of steps. Generally, I'll go from Rhino or maybe I'll do a key shot and do a kind of conversion. Anyway, enough about me. And this is called Smart Frame and it's available for free. But check out the add ons on the left hand side here Smart Sharpen, Smart Frame, Quick Sub D, Edge Curve Plus, Symmetry, Bonus Utilities. Highly recommend. Remember all the links in the description down below. And this is a commercial plugin. It's available on Blender Market. It's Quick Load Add on for Blender 2.7 and 2.8. It's five bucks. You tell me. Put a comment down below. And it's moving on to animation of the week. Animation of the week. Yes. Glass animation. Glass hoodie simulated. And I assume this was Blender. It does look like Blender fluids. Pretty cool animation. Well done, mate. What is the user's name, actually? Oh, I'm, no chance. I'm not even pronouncing that. And it's Artist of the Week. And this is from Danny McCabe. Cracking render, mate. Absolutely beautiful modelling. Beautiful surfacing. And this is what Elsa might look like if she was a boy. And that's been your unofficial Blender News of the Week. Do me a favour, guys. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Twitter, I've got a couple of pals now, you know what to do. Peace.